Despite being an ancient crossroads that's likely been around for thousands of years, the city of El Paso itself was first incorporated just over 150 years ago in 1873. Since then, it's grown to become what is now the 22nd largest city in the U.S., while our sister city, Juarez, ranks as Mexico's sixth largest. That leads to tonight's tough question. How has the borderlands culture influenced American culture? The oldest golden door in America sits in our backyard. We have had more people come through our gateway than Ellis Island, Angel Island, the Port of Galveston, all combined. Borderland historian David Barella says as a gateway for immigrants, El Paso has played an outsized role in bringing Latin American culture to the United States with the U.S. Census Bureau reporting the nation's Hispanic population is second only to whites. El Paso is home to the three oldest Mexican-American neighborhoods in America. That is Chihuahuita, Duranguito, and Segundo Barrio. And immigrants from Mexico remain by far the largest group of immigrants in the United States. To give you a glimpse of Latinx culture's influence on the U.S., look at Americans' culinary habits. We now spend more on salsa than on ketchup. And the Visual Capitalist website ranks the margarita as America's third most popular cocktail. Legend has it the margarita was first mixed at a Juarez bar called Tommy's Place in 1942, though there are competing claims to its invention. Also during World War II, men from El Paso and Juarez created a cultural phenomenon when they moved to the West Coast to serve in the U.S. military or work in factories that were building American weapons during the war. The zoot suit culture. Yeah, I was going to say, the pachucos exactly. began here. Correct. And they moved to L.A., right? Exactly. World war II. Because of Ciudad Juarez, they ended up in El Paso. Because of El Paso, they spread everywhere. And it is something that's so renowned and that people in certain cities in America are so proud of. But do they know that it comes from right down here? Pachuco culture is also how El Paso earned the nicknames El Chuco and Chuco Town.